Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but when I have guests, I really need a way of making them some nice coffee. So I got this coffee filter off Amazon and a jug for it to drip into. There'll be links to them down below and I plan to make this frame to hold them and I'm going to use some brass bar to do it. I've made a sketch to help determine the size and then I can mark out on the bar where the bends need to go. I have a metal bender but brass is pretty soft and you could probably do it just in a vise. I set my bevel gauge to the angle I've drawn on my design. Then I can take it to the metal bender, move it around and set up a stop at that angle. I actually ended up moving this to the next stop so I could over bend the brass and then it would spring back to the desired angle. I get the bar in, lined up with my marks, tightened down and then I can make the first bend. With the first angle done I can flip the piece around and repeat it. This machine can bend up to 5mm thick steel so this brass was no problem for it whatsoever. I made two of these for the stand and they came out pretty close to each other. But they're not done yet, the bottoms need bending round to make a base. I use a combination square to mark where all four of the bends need to go. Then it's back over to the bench and get those done. So you can see how the brass springs back at the bottom a bit, but that's going to get sorted out when we attach it to the base. The base and the top is going to be made out of walnut, so I just need to clean up the edge on a couple of boards so I can glue up a panel. I think brass and walnut is probably my favourite metal and wood combination, I just think they look great together. So out of these scraps I'm gluing up a couple of panels, one for the base and one for the top. I get them clamped up, left for a few hours to dry and then I can give them a quick sand down. I get the brass positioned so the filter can go in between and then work out how big the top and bottom need to be. Then I can use the mitre saw to get them chopped down to their final size. The top needs a hole in for the filter to fit through and I have a hole saw the right size. So I mark out the centre in the top. Then I can take it over to the drill press and drill out that hole. From the first side I just go down a bit over halfway. then I can flip it over and go in from the other side. I find doing it this way you get no blowout and just leave a nicer finish. To make it look even better I'm going to chamfer all the edges, both of the sides the top and the bottom but also into that hole. To join everything together I want to cut some grooves into the walnut. So I fit my grooving blade in the table saw, then raise it up the thickness of the brass. I can now run the pieces through, nibbling away to remove enough material so that brass is just going to slide into this slot. With four slots cut, I have a test and it fits pretty well. So now I can give it another sand down, going up to 120 grit, and then I can apply some finish. I'm going to apply some hard wax oil as I want something pretty hard wearing with jugs of coffee moved on and off it. The brass needs some holes drilling in it so it can be attached to the walnut. So I set up some scrap wood in my vise that I can hold the brass over. Then I use a punch to mark out the position of the holes and I can get them drilled out. A couple of holes on each of the feet and a couple of holes on the top as well. I want the screw heads recessed so I'm just countersinking these holes. When the finish is dry I can start getting it put together. So with the top upside down on the bench I can get the legs slid in place and screws going into the walnut. Then the base can be lifted up into place, the feet slotted into the groove and some more screws put in. And that's it all finished going together. Now we just need to make some coffee. I waited until the next morning to do this and you can see it's pretty dark and frosty out so coffee sounds a good idea. The filter goes on top, a jug underneath and a filter paper in. Then I can get some ground coffee put in the top. 
I think a coffee scoop is a project for the future so I can get the perfect measure each time. Then hot water gets poured over and the coffee drips down into the jug. This jug also came with a lid to help keep it warm. So for a first go, that worked pretty well. Cheers everyone. Now if you're coming around for coffee, remember to bring cake. That's it all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreons. And please subscribe for more videos.